Hello everyone, my name is Igor and this is my first tutorial. Today I'm going to spread the word about this great add-on called Tension Map. Not much people heard about it. I heard about it uh, about a month ago and this is a this is a really great add-on. You should try it, trust me. Uh, you can grab it on this page. I'll leave the link in the description under under the video and download this tension map zip file, it doesn't have those errors. Okay, after installing it, you'll get the tension script checkbox in the mesh panel. Uh, enable it and scrub through the timeline for Blender to generate vertex colors called TM tension and two vertex groups TM stretch and TM squeeze. Okay, how does it work? I made uh, some noodle cylinder for for you to demonstrate. Let's render it and oops, you'll get this uh, self-updating mask for uh, squeezed areas and for stretched areas. Stretched areas go to uh, red channel and squeezed areas go to green channel. You can use this mask for mixing different kind of effects uh, like uh, mixing normal maps to get these faults in the certain areas. I sculpted it before and uh, baked normal map so I'm mixing the blank blue with, with my normal map through this mask. As you can see, the cylinder doesn't have those faults uh, when it's uh, fully stretched, fully, fully straight, and uh, they appear as it bends. So we have those uh, areas folded. You can mix uh, shaders, uh, whatever you can imagine, actually. So I made some videos to demonstrate it. One more thing you can do with it is to use it with a conjunction uh, with conjunction of modifiers. For example, uh, when you when you bend, for example, for example, an elbow on a character while animating, you'll get those uh, volume losing on the elbow. So you can compensate it uh, with the help of TM stretch vertex group and displacement modifier. We we'll just uh, plug it in here and uh, find the mid level to compensate it. This is a very useful tool, actually. Uh, one more thing you can do with it is to compensate this uh, self-penetration of the mesh. When you bend too much, you can get that uh, area penetrating. So using corrective smooth with TM squeeze vertex group, we can get rid of it. Just find the factor and here we go. One more example is uh, uh, is using displacement map in the displacement modifier. For example, uh, you are making some sort of caterpillar or or something, and you don't know uh, the place where it should uh, where it should be folded, right? It can bend in every direction, and uh, you just sculpt. Uh, the your you just sculpt your caterpillar all over the place. So I made those uh, fast folds, baked it into a displacement map. It looks like this. Applied it into displacement uh, modifier here, and uh, I'm using TM squeeze mask for that. And when it bends. It, uh, it has folds 
in the right positions. Here's the rendered result. Some kind of rubbery stuff or you name it. Uh, so, uh, here is more uh, live examples of that. For example, you can use it as a mask for uh, mixing a diffuse shader with, uh, uh, with a translucent shader to make the effect when you stretch a rubber a lot and it, uh, it has a more light penetration in it. Or, like in this example, you can uh, sculpt uh, the wrinkles on the forehead and get a very nice looking animation results. So, I think this is it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.